<laughs> you startled us. What do you expect? Michael, you little... What do you know? Side. Oh, no. What the? Oh, you idiot. Would you look at the nasty things Jeanette wrote, though? How do you know it's Jeanette's? That's Jeanette's handwriting. Her words are slightly smeared from her hand. I can't believe she would. I can't believe you do this to someone as irrational as my sister. Heike Hi will be waking up any minute. I, I need to talk to her. Good luck. You got her into a large mess. Yeah, don't remind me, dummy. If this doesn't look bad enough. Vora, someone knows how to knock. Come in! You're awake? Yeah, but I need some new clothes. Why? That should be fine. Are you really that dense? Ugh! Why are girls so confusing? All right, I'll check back at the dorms to see if Rose is back. Thank you. How did that go? It didn't happen. What are you talking about? Distracted for now. I'm going to go see if Rose is back in the dorm and get a fresh pair of clothes. She's making a big deal out of it. Well, considering that, make it worse. That? Do, do you really not understand? No. Then we'll leave it at that. We'll find out sooner or later. Alright then, whatever. Just buy me some time. I'll be able to put this back together by the time I'm back. Give me off of your mind. I was no good, they said. You could do much better. You. You did this to our little hikey. What? You don't understand. This is a terrible prank to pull on someone. And she likes you. Rose, you don't under- Wait a minute, what? Guess it doesn't matter anymore after- But Rose, I just kissed her. Those posters were not me. They weren't? No. I, I like her too. Why would I do this to her? Then who did? Jeanette? Why shouldn't we be surprised? Fine, I'll believe you. What do you want? Heike needs a new set of clothes. She locked herself out last night and stayed with me. She... stayed? Look, nothing happened. In fact, she had an entire room to herself. My roommate and I slept in the common area and told our other mates. Alright, fine. You're okay, you're my friend. You know what could happen if the school found out about a female in the male dormitory. I know. It's why we need to sneak her out. You need us to sneak her out? Can you do anything? Not really. Fire drills aren't really an option either, but I mean... How many students are awake on a day off? Alright, fair. I'll get her a pair of clean clothes, and we'll head to the room then. Oh, 
I'll see how many posters I can remove. Thanks. Trust me for trust me when I say I did not mean for this to happen. We know. Let's just get this fixed before you two are the talk at school on Monday. About time! Thank you so much! I couldn't be seen in this dress again. No problem, Heike. So, are you serious? Does she actually like me? She's in a painful state of denial, and she can't shut up about you. Wow! Don't get too flustered now. You still have a girlfriend to break up with Ruth before you have any hope of getting with her. Right! Damn it! I really need to now. You do. Alright, I'm ready. Thanks, Emil. Yeah, no problem. Alright, I pulled posters from an enormously populated area. Posters? Posters of what? Oh shit. Hi, he? <laughs> I'm really sorry for what you're about to see. Sorry? Nicola, can you give Heike the poster? I can. What? What is all this? Heike, um, Jeanette kinda found out. And she... Made all these terrible posters and put them all over the school. She... Heike, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I know. I should have slept in the hall yesterday and not go to the greenhouse with you. Oh, let's just get out of here. Sure. I'll just check to make sure the hall is clear. We've been taking those posters down all weekend. There is no way no one saw them. I'm so sorry, Heidi. I'm sorry too for completely blowing you off. I've been completely blowing you off for weeks, but yet you came back to me after being such a jerk when I needed you. Thanks. I thought it was what friends did for each other. Then. Thank you for being a great friend. But seriously, stop getting yourself into trouble. If anyone caught us, Nicolette and I could have been thrown off the council. <laughs> Got it. There, let's go. No, not really. Either you are or you're not. It's time to face the consequences. Why ask the question if I'm gonna have to face them again anyways? About time I heard from you, you disappeared on me this weekend. 
yeah, I sure did. You surely were making noise this weekend. Oh, did I? I'm not an idiot, Jeanette. I know you posted those posters around the school. You're smart, Neil, but not smart enough to realize I know where you are, like, all the time. So next time you think about kissing some harlot, you don't. <laughs> okay, and here's my question. Why are you cheating on me? Hey, what happened to our hiking? She wasn't afraid of Jeanette. A part of me was scared. I didn't expect her to go this far, though. Over what? Some dumb boy? A boy she's cheating on! Why did she care so much? Who knows? I just wanted to be normal. I finally got the chance, and I screwed it up. You did it. I went with him. He kissed. But he kissed you. And I would have it happen all over again. But now she's made it clear I can't. And I should keep my distance. Heike, everything will be okay. Heike, I'm so sorry. Come on, sweetie, let's go. No need to watch a little freshman having a meltdown. This is messed up. need to catch up. I need to know what happens to Michaela and Marion. See? Now you're more invested in this than I am. Well, I'm glad you're looking up a bit. Nicolette, I wasn't expecting you at this hour. I know. I wanted to talk to Heike. Me? Yes. Come with me after school tomorrow. We're gonna meet one of our underground clubs. Underground? The Magic Club. The... Magic... Club? 